Strategic partnerships supporting the exchange of good practices have one special format in the field of youth. It is called Transnational Youth Initiatives. These specific strategic partnerships aim to promote the entrepreneurial spirit of young people. It is achieved by allowing groups of young people to put ideas into practice and implement their ideas in partnership with youth groups from other countries. Formal requirements for this format are the same as for any other strategic partnership project supporting the exchange of good practices. However, you should note one unique aspect. Transnational youth initiative projects are mainly intended for informal groups of young people. An informal group of young people means at least four young people from 13 to 30 years old. The person formally applying needs to be 18 years old or older. If all young people are minors, the group needs to be supported and represented by an adult, for example a youth worker or coach. The young people should be the driving force behind the entire project and they should also be the ones responsible for the implementation and completion of the project. It gives young people the chance to try out their ideas and be actively involved in planning and carrying out a project. Participation in a youth initiative is an important non-formal learning experience. While implementing a youth initiative, young people have the opportunity to address specific challenges or problems encountered in their communities. They have the opportunity to discuss and reflect their chosen topic in a European context and together contribute to building a better Europe. Like other strategic partnership projects, a youth initiative must be carried out by at least two or more groups from different countries. Cooperation with international partners in transnational youth initiatives is based on similar needs or interests in order to share good practices and learn from peers. Transnational youth initiatives enable young people to become inventive and creative in their daily life and to speak out on their local needs and interests, but also on the challenges faced by the communities they live in. Young people carrying out transnational youth initiatives may be supported by a coach, especially if members of the initiative group are younger than 18 years old. A coach is a resource person who has youth work experience in accompanying groups of young people, facilitating the individual and group learning process and supporting their participation. The coach remains outside the youth initiative but supports the group of young people in the preparation, implementation and evaluation of their project based on the needs of the group. Coaches support the quality of the learning process and they provide an ongoing partnership designed to help a group or individuals produce fulfilling results in their projects. Transnational youth initiatives contain diverse activities like transnational partner meetings, local activities and learning mobility for young people. Young people develop their competences in an experiential way by initiating, setting up and carrying out a project affecting various areas of life. Transnational youth initiatives can aim for the establishment of an organisation or it can lead to the development and delivery of courses on the use of information and communication technology. Such projects can aim for youth information, increasing media literacy or actions stimulating civic commitment among young people. It can have a variety of activities such as debates, conferences, consultations and so on. Good transnational youth initiatives often focus on the local level where young people are living in. They can initiate actions that benefit local communities or provide support to vulnerable groups. The impact of transnational initiatives projects is oriented inwards towards the very young people who have implemented it and also towards the local community that can benefit from it. Financial rules for transnational youth initiatives are the same as for strategic partnerships. The budget itself is divided into several categories depending on what the given amounts will be needed for, while, at the same time, it is quite flexible. The financial resources can be used by project organisers to pay for renting the premises where you will prepare or implement your project, materials, promotion and visibility of the project, or meetings of the implementation team.